Hey, what's up guys, Apex Sound, and I'm here with Drive Club again. I haven't played this game since I completed the series I was doing. Um, there's, they brought in dynamic weather here, but as, as you can see, that looks pretty insane. But I'm going to try it out on the track here, see what you guys think. If you want to see more of this, just let me know in the comments below, and I will try and make a series out of it, or do something with it. Just do a couple parts or something, but for the moment, it's just the one part, and we're just going to check out the dynamic weather. So, let's do it. Stormy, 7 a.m., Dynamic precipitation. Let's go. Play. We're gonna use this car. Um, maybe this car. Uh, I'm gonna go with the Mercedes probably because it's one of my favorite cars in the world. But yeah, this is one of the DLC cars, by the way. If you didn't know, um, from the very start, like if you pre-ordered the game, I think you got that one. But yeah. Anyway. They've kind of fixed the patching, I think, so we're, this is just a, a course in Scotland, by the way. Trotternish, I think it's called. As you can see, the weather outside is frightful. But this car is quite delightful. So here we go, let's do this. Okay, yeah, buddy. What the hell's happening? My car just went completely out of control. Wow, it is so much harder to control on this rain, guys. I swear to God, I'm not joking. We won the average speed face off with Jesus. Oh yeah. Whoa, it's so much harder to control, man. It's crazy. It completely changes the aspect of the game. It's absolutely awesome, though. Oh yes. Oh, yeah, look at this. The rain seems to have died down a little bit, huh? Okay, yes. This is really awesome. When I saw someone say it, like, changes the game completely, I was like, can't change it that much, but it really does. Like, the handling is completely different. Um, and it really is cool. I really like Drive Club. I really like the series that I done. It got quite a lot of support, which surprised me. Because uh, the Drive Club is getting a lot of hate, but I got a lot of support from on YouTube, and I I did enjoy doing that quite immensely. Um, yeah, I didn't do face cam on this one because uh, I just wanted you to get the full aspect of the whole the whole dynamic weather. You know, it's kind of oh, you wouldn't have really got that with my face up on the on the screen, you know. Alrighty, we ain't doing too bad here. We're doing pretty good. 57% of the way. I might like try this in, a, in like two different cars as well, so. Um, whoa! So that uh, we can give it a time to beat. Like maybe I'll try it in the McLaren after this one. And then the Porsche after that. The three DLC cars. Uh, the three pre order cars, sorry. Um, and see how each one fares against each one. We'll, we'll just. Uh, We'll check the time and see how each one does. Or I guess we should do three different tracks, really. Yeah, maybe with the three DLC cards, or the three pre-order cards, do three different tracks and see. See the difference on tracks and shit like that. I haven't done, like, I don't think I've done, like, every track. I don't think I've done this one. Um, but it, it is a really awesome one, for sure. Maybe I have done this one, actually. I remember that that corner for some reason, but that could be just any corner like that. We have beat the speed face off with the relative ease as this Mercedes. And this is my favorite view, by the way, guys. Um, I know a lot of you guys like like the cockpit view. I do like the cockpit view, but um, the, that one's definitely my favorite. So, Totternish there. That was really awesome, though. The, the weather really does make it a lot better. For sure. So, how do we do? 254. That's not too bad. Okay, see our club level there, 24. The Apex Hounds, if you want to join uh, my club, I will greatly accept you. Well, you don't. I don't think I even have to accept you. You can just join and will automatically accept. So we're going to try another one of them in Scotland. We're going to try, like, say, hmm. It's the reverse course of Trotternish, is it? Yeah. So no, I don't want to do that. Um, let's try the first one here. We'll try to tree Scotland. Tr well... That's the same one then, isn't it? Except backwards, yeah. So we'll try that with Stormy and Dynamic. Except we're gonna pick a different car. Wait. 
Is it going to give us a chance to pick a different car here? Yes, it is. Okay. So we're going to try the McLaren here. And this is another pre-order card. That's why it has the hashtag drive club on it and stuff like that. I, I think they're really sexy though. The 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 actual pre-order cars are, look really good. Like that Mercedes, this McLaren and do Porsche as well. The RUF as they call it. Um, look really cool. So this looks like an awesome, awesome track here because there's lots of water involved and it's really pretty here with, with the dynamic weather. It really does make it so much more like pretty and good to look at, it really does. And I like it a lot. This dynamic weather is probably gonna get me back into playing drive club quite a bit. Like it's really cool, isn't it? I really like it. Let me, let me know what you guys think, because I really do like it. I didn't fucking even see that turn coming. Let me know what you guys think, because I would be curious to know. I think this guy game is definitely worth getting, guys. If you don't have it, it's worth getting. Well, get out of that. I was trying to itch my nose there. And I nearly crashed in the process. Like, it, that cars handle so realistically compared to, like, other games. Like, literally, you won't find a game that the cars handle better, I think. Um, I'm playing the crew at the moment. I played Forza this year. And really, I know they're open world games. And, and it's kind of, there's more to do in those games. But honestly, I think Drive Club, the cars handle and sound better um, than the crew and then Forza. They sound amazing. Like, listen to that sound of that McLaren. It really does sound lifelike. Compared to like some game racing games, they don't really sound like the actual cars at all. I'm no like car expert or anything, but I try to know my best about the cars. And really, uh, this game really does. It's it's just a proper track racer, Gran Turismo style, you know. And that was ridiculous bad crash there, as I'm talking about how much I know about cars. But yeah, it's it's. It really does. Look at that lightning. Did you see that, guys? Oh, my God. That was madness. It was a lightning bolt just down in the, in the... Oh, that was crazy. Awesome. Dynamic weather, baby. Gotta love it, huh? And the handling is completely different in the dynamic weather, too. It does really change the aspect of the game. Like, I didn't think it actually would. And there we complete the race. That was awesome. There's a lightning bolt towards the end of that one. And that was really cool. So we're going to do one more race, guys, in this part. And like I said, if you want to see more of this, just let me know in the comments below. I will bring it to you. Because that was a lot of fun to do there. And I liked it a lot. Okay, so what will we do last here? Um, Canada. No, I don't feel like Canada at the moment. Chile. Um... Uh, no, India. Do I feel like India? Not really. How about Norway here? Horangane. Hmm. Let's try this one here. Horangane. The dynamic weather didn't really work for me on Norway there for a, a minute ago. I was like, what? But yeah, we'll use this RUF here. The factory one. Let's just get in here. It's a normal opening door, which is kind of rare to see in these. Okay, all those doors open upwards and it's kind of crazy and stuff like that. But yeah, let's do this. Um, this is kind of an awesome track too. It looks like it. The dynamic weather for me really does spice up Drive Club and it makes it a lot better. It's not like just... Um, a small little aspect of the game. I think it actually really does change. And see here in dynamic weather in Norway doesn't really work for me. I don't know why. Because I'm doing it too early or what? I don't know. There's no snow or anything. There's supposed to be, right? Raindrops keep falling on my head. Oh, there we go. It's kind of coming in now, the snow. Let's 
check an inside cockpit view here of the Porsche. Ooh, nice and green. Kind of brings out the colors of it as we look at the snow piled down upon us here. Nicely beaten. Oh, for the, it, the graphics in this game are really, really good. And the dynamic weather really does make the graphics even better. It makes them even showcase them even better is what I'm trying to say. It showcases them even better for sure. And like the inside cockpit view has amazing detail, doesn't it? I mean, I really like it. I think, yeah, this is my favorite race for the year. Like Mario Kart doesn't really, uh, well, I guess Mario Kart and this, but Mario Kart's just more fun. It's not really an actual just hardcore race, you know? Whoa, 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 whoa. That was a crash. Man, it's looking good now, that weather, right? At the start, it was like it wasn't that extreme, but it's starting to pick up here now and getting crazy. Damn, I'm not driving well at the moment, though. It's actually much harder to handle. Oh, there. Did you see that lightning strike, guys? Awesome, right? If you missed it, go back and watch that. They're really cool, those crazy lightning strikes. As we look upon the frozen river down there. Oh, see, that was brilliantly done. I'm s I got I, I got my swagger back. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I, I got my swagger back. Okay, so that was nicely done. That was we really done that really well there. That whole set of turns there, this last segment of the race. And as I say that, I go off the track, but it wasn't too bad. As we go down this hill, we smash that time target. Uh, wow, wow. I don't feel like stop playing this game. Once I stop recording, I think I'm going to play this game for quite a while after. I might like record a couple of challenges maybe or something. If you want to see like more Drive Club videos, all you got to do is hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below and I will try and bring it to you. Because I'm not doing that many series at the moment. No, uh, I'm doing GTA, The Crew, and... Uh, what's the other one? Little Big Planet. And I'm also doing Destiny expansion, but that's only going to be three parts. It's just three missions, three story missions, the dark below. Um, so yeah, I'm not doing too much at the moment, you know, so I could squeeze a couple Drive Club videos in for sure. As we go under the bridge, the weather, once we come out again, we'll be pounding into our faces. Look at that, that's so cool, guys. I'm going to play the last bit of this race in the cockpit view here for you guys. Just boom, nicely done. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you did, make sure to hit it with a big like, and I will do possibly some challenges. I think I've unlocked a uh, nice, cool, nice. So I'm just going to show you guys. I got like some challenges here from people. People have challenged me to do stuff. Um, but as you can see here, see challenges 11. I have. Solo and club challenges. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to probably do some of them in a separate video. Um, club challenges are scores based on each club's best result within the channel. Club challenges allow you and your clubmates to go head to head against other drive clubs. So yeah. Received and ongoing. So I'm going to go into the ongoing ones and check what the story is. And I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to hit a big like. And I will see you guys for some more videos very soon. Bye-bye.